I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, like dope, dope shiz, dope stuff. This stuff is dope, some dope stuff. <laughs> um, I wanted to share with you some dope stuff. Uh, I just like doing these videos recently. Like if they're not necessary, I, get a, I guess they're favorites videos, but I just can't do monthly beauty favorites, you know? Cause my favorite stuff is usually just like super random. <sighs> so the, actually the first item that I wanted to talk to you about is a makeup product. This is the um, NYX Lingerie XXL matte liquid lipstick. And I'm pretty obsessed with it. I received them in PR recently, like very, very recently, but I instantly fell in love with them. And the reason for that is because, well, actually let me remove this from my lips so I can show you. I've worn it in a few videos, I think, a couple. So you may know it already, but what's nice about it is, here, let me zoom in. It does have kind of a butterscotchy scent. You can kind of like build it up if you want. And like, isn't that such a pretty color? Gorge, right? Or you can just use it as like kind of a stain and it's so lightweight and comfortable and like not drying at all. You can just literally use your finger and pat it in as if it's a stain. And it just gives your lips like a little bit of color and conditions them, but it keeps them matte. Obviously my lips are a little, I just messed up my lip liner a little bit, but so pretty, like such a nice formula. It dries down, but it doesn't feel like really, really like drying or anything. You can like eat and drink and stuff and it's like comfortable. I'm actually going, I'm leaving for New York in a couple days and I'm bringing this with me because <laughs> I just absolutely love it. Like I think it's so pretty. I highly recommend these. I know that they've had like a few lingerie lip products like beginning as far as like five or six years ago I think because I remember the first ones when they launched and they were really beautiful I loved those but I felt like these are better but yeah I just love it this is in the shade turn on just so pretty like absolutely stunning um so I've been really loving these all right so that's the first thing um and that's actually the only makeup item that I have but I love those so much next up I wanted to share and I did a video collaborating with these guys like a while back, but Jin's eyewear, I have to close my eyes because I'm wearing contacts and I will literally like hurt myself. But the reason that I love these so much now, um, I just look so stupid with my eyes closed, is that they're super duper lightweight. And I think I talked about it in that video, but I was recently like trying on my um, Warby Parker glasses, which I love. These are in the style hues and I've talked about these before, but they're so heavy on my face and like, not that they're so ridiculously uncomfortable. I feel so stupid closing my eyes, but literally if I open my eyes, I'm gonna be like insanely blind. Um, not that they're like ridiculously uncomfortable, but one thing that's really annoying about them is the arms like hug my uh, temples like really tight. Not to the point where it's annoying, but what's really annoying about it is this part just kind of like flares out a little bit. Like they're just like very straight. I actually tried to bend them. Um, using hot water. I was literally watching like a YouTube video about like how to fit or like uh, custom fit your Warby Parker glasses. So I actually, they kind of like flared, flayed, flared out on the ends and they would like push my ears out and it was very annoying. So it's like you buy them online and then you have to go in somewhere to get them fitted, you know? Whereas these are like super duper lightweight and they have that shape, you know? So when I put them on, they go around my temple so they're not like squeezing and then they like fit nice and f like comfy back here uh and because they're lightweight they're nice and like flexible anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys because sometimes i feel like for a long time i was like oh my glasses or my sunglasses need to be like so heavy to be like luxe you know but it ends up being uncomfortable like in that video where i was talking about like desi's sunglasses which i did get others of hers that were more comfortable for me, but those nose things were just like, but like really heavy sunglasses and you just wear it all day and it's just like, you know, so much pressure on your nose. Anyway, I don't know. I thought I would um, share that, you know, cause I do love these. I don't know what style they are, but I can link them down below. <laughs> this is a very random assortment of things. Um, okay, next up is a pillow. <laughs> so uh, let me take the um, pillowcase off. So this is like, you guys have probably seen like commercials or um, advertisements or something for the sleep and glow pillow. So that's what this is. I'm like worried that my skincare has stained it and it's gonna look gross. 
on camera, but... Um, okay, so I saw a bunch of, before they reached out to me, I saw a bunch of, um, they did reach out and send this to me uh, just to try, but I saw a bunch of like ads for it and I've tried a million pillows you know, just like for comfort and whatever, like memory foam, all the all the bullshit. Basically none of them have been like worth it, you know? Like I've bought so many freaking pillows. Anyway, Ziva, what are you doing? <laughs> that is so rude. Hey, 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 can you, can you stop? Anyway, so the point of this is supposed to, like it has like these levels and maybe I can insert some stuff, but it's got these like, these things that come out and then it's got this like little step down right here for your ear and then this like open part right here and basically your face is supposed to kind of like nestle in there and it protects this part of your face from getting all smushed by a pillow um because i was like i'm a face sleeper so i always end up like on my stomach and my face is just like mushed in the pillow even with this like sleeping on my stomach it like keeps my face nice and protected. Now I still sleep with those fucking silicone things and an eye mask, cause I'm ridiculous, but it's actually very comfortable. And there's like a little depression here in the center if you're a back sleeper, which I wish I was, where your head just kind of like nestles there and it's like the perfect height. Anyway, I really like it a lot. I was very surprised. I was like incredibly skeptical. Um, and it's like a nice soft memory foam too. So it's not like really, really hard. The only thing is this is the pillowcase I think that it comes with that you can like take off and wash, but it just seems very um, thin. So I do put my slip silk pillowcases on it, but my slip silk pillowcases are way too big because this is kind of a tiny pillow. <laughs> so that's a little like just annoying that I can't get smaller silk pillowcases. Anyway, I really like it. So I wanted to share it with you and this isn't sponsored, but they did give me like a coupon code for you guys if you're interested. Cause I said, I, I liked it and I wanted to mention it just in case you guys tend to sleep on your face or you feel like sleeping, you wake up and you've got all these like lines in your face. It's just kind of nice. I was very skeptical, but I don't want to show you cause I'm obviously wearing makeup, but like your face just nestles in there like so perfectly and it's very comfortable. Anyway, sleep and go pillow. Okay, next up is actually a Dr. Dre recommendation. You know which one I'm talking about. Uh, this is the Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream from Neutrogena. And this was just like, something that she recommended. I think she's recommended it for sensitive skin. I think she's recommended using it on your face for like sensitive skin. It's like non-comedogenic, I think. Com I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I can't remember now. Com comedogenic, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's fragrance-free, it's sensitive, it's for dry skin, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I really like it. It's actually very lightweight hydrate. Like it, it moisturizes, but it absorbs very quickly. So it's really nice. Like when you're fresh out of the shower. Yeah. It's got dimethicone in it, which seems to like make all of my sunscreens pill, which is really annoying. So I've been like trying to find, oh, it's got hyaluronic acid. Um, I've been on a skincare journey if you didn't know, and I've been trying to find like a daily moisturizer that isn't going to clog my pores that won't pill when I apply sunscreen which is like impossible for some reason. Uh, but anyway, so I, I did try this on my face and it made my sunscreen pill, but I love it as a body moisturizer because I hate thick moisturizers, especially for summertime. Um, I haven't used this on like a really hot day and like gone outside. So I don't know if it's like the kind of thing that's gonna make you like sweat it off, you know? Like, you know, when you put on lotion, you go outside in a hot day and it just like starts to melt. I hate that feeling. So I don't know, I haven't tested it yet, but I really, really like it. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be like hydrating, but nice and lightweight and like moves over the body easily, like I hate the stuff that doesn't like glide, you know, this is a good one. I really like it. Also super random, people are always asking me about how I whiten my teeth. Now I've said before, it has a lot to do with genetics, unfortunately. I am very blessed. I drink a fuckload of coffee uh, and I have very white teeth. My teeth are just white, uh, lucky. I have used Dr. George's Dental White. I still have it. I use it on occasion. It's very good for like 15 minute touch up kind of deal. I actually used it today. Sometimes I do it before filming. You know, if I just like feel like, oh, the coffee stains are like popping up a little bit. Uh, yeah, and it, that doesn't, I don't I don't know if I have particularly sensitive teeth, but that doesn't make my teeth sensitive, which is nice. I just put it in a mouth guard. I bought a mouth guard on Amazon. I got the Dr. George's Dental White on Amazon. Just like put it in the mouth guard, wear it for 15 minutes, like while I take a shower or something, and then I, you know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about right now. Um, I picked up the 3D, uh, 
pressed strips, three, 3D, dent, what, 3D white strips, white strips, dental whitening treatment, because I just felt like I needed something more. There's like parts of my bottom teeth that I'm like, mm, I just feel like I need a little bit more. Like I'm on camera, I need a little bit more. So I got this. Um, a lot of people did complain in the reviews about sensitivity. Anyway, I've been using it. What I like about these is, first of all, I haven't used Crest Strips since I was in maybe early high school. So didn't know what to expect. <laughs> um, but damn, these things, you can put them on and like talk and like walk around like nobody knows that you're wearing them. Like they stay put, uh, which is very nice. I, because my teeth are quite white, you're supposed to wear them for an hour and then you do the light for five minutes, which is timed, it'll turn off on its own. I think I wore them a couple times for like 40 minutes. And you're supposed to wear them for an hour, 10 days in a row, because there's 10 strips. I didn't do that. Um, I did 40 minutes, I've only used them twice, I think. Uh, and I did 40 minutes each time and I did them like a few days apart. And I did see like a pretty noticeable difference. So I do think that when I feel like I need a little bit something more, I'm gonna use this. And I did do the light afterwards and it, it kind of just feels like it's giving you like a deeper, like a deeper white, you know, where the Dr. George's dental white seems to be more of like a surface level stain remover type thing. So I thought I would mention them, but if you have very sensitive teeth, you're gonna to wanna to be careful, I guess, because I did feel a little bit of sensitivity after my second one. And like I said, I didn't do them back to back. I didn't even do them for the full hour, but I just, I was like, they're just good to have. Like when I feel like I need it, you know what I mean? Like I don't have to do it the way they said to. So I thought I'd mention that. I've been liking it. Um, this next thing is so random and like, so, so a thing that I like necess wouldn't necessarily wear. I don't, it's like a cardigan. It's by C, is that the brand? I think I got it on ShopBop for like on sale. It's dry clean only, which I typically don't buy, but I feel like because it's like a cardigan, I'm gonna be wearing it like over clothes, so I won't necessarily have to, I don't know how to show it to you, hold on. Like, how do I do this? Okay, so it's like a cardigan. It's got these, this kind of like pleated sleeve, which is kind of nice. It's like very comfy and then it, it's got, it's clearly I don't do styling videos. It's got tapered, like it tapers down to the whatever. Uh, and then it's got these big chunky, buttons you know but is that a button yeah that's a button um and it's like a, it's just like a really it's super warm and cozy and like kind of chic you know i really like it so i thought i'd share this if i can find it on shop Bob, I'll, I'll link it down below it was i think it was kind of expensive but like i said i got it on sale um but yeah it's got like a i don't know what you call that when it's like a big fluffy fat sleeve and then it tapers you, some of you asked me to do styling videos. I don't know if that's a good idea. Anyway, I really like it. I feel like just a basic cardigan kind of thing can either look like really pretentious and lame or it can look like chic. And that's what I feel like this is. It's like chic, you know? Like, like, um, like English professor in his office drink, like drinking whiskey and smoking a cigar and reading um, name someone intellectual. The next thing, these were kind of expensive too, I think. Um, I saw Desi Perkins wearing these and so I had to get them. They're from a brand called Rome and they are just these like chunky slides and I love them. Slides are something that I'm like not into typically cause I'm 5'2", so I like something that has a heel. Uh, and also I have really ugly feet. So I'm not like super into showing them off. But what I love about these is that because they're so chunky, they cover up most of my feet. So you can't really see my feet. Uh, and they're also just like dope and like really comfortable. So I don't know, I just thought they were really cool. I'll link these too, but they were kind of expensive. So I'm just warning you, but I've been seeing like this kind of style pop up more and more in different places. So you could potentially find like dupes somewhere. Maybe I'll try to find like a dupe for them and uh, pop them. Like I think I've seen like Zara maybe having like kind of puffy slides that are like kind of in right now. Anyway, I love them. They're like very lightweight. Oh, good, okay, cool. Wow, I was really worried that Priscilla Ono, she owns this? Oh shit, I did not know that. Wait, design by make, oh, I didn't know that. All right, well, the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is something that I literally just found. Uh, hold on. I used to use this all the time. It's called the brush folio, and it's this thing that like folds up so you can travel with it. It becomes nice and flat, so it's like 
you know, nice and easy. But then basically you can open it up and do this. Hold on. It's got like a string to keep it a certain length or width or whatever. So yeah, you can kind of like secure it with this thing. It goes like this. And these are all slots for your brushes. So it's super, uh, or like eyeliners or lip liners or whatever, but it's great for travel, you know, rather than have, oh, hold on, I can't get it in. Okay, we're giving up on the lip liner. Um, Cause it flattens, so it's like much better for travel. You know, you can put it at the bottom of your suitcase or against the wall or whatever. It's a lot nicer than those like round brush holders. Yeah, and then you have like all of your brushes and eyeliners or lip liners or whatever, just kind of like laid out. It's really nice. It's, it was, apparently it was made by Priscilla Ono. I didn't know that. Um, this was actually given to me at a beauty convention like years ago and I loved it immediately and I, I've definitely talked about it. Like I probably talked about it after that and I just was cleaning out my closet and I, and I found it and I was like, this is so, such a good idea. I hope they're still making them and they are. So if you're interested, it's like $35 or something, definitely worth it and perfect for working makeup artists um, or even like for paintbrushes or something, you know, like working artists in general. So I thought that I would share that since I just found it. I'm definitely gonna be packing it for my trip. Um, so that's the last thing, that's it. Good find, good, good closet find. Um, oh my God. Okay, I'm crashing. Um, yeah, that was it. That's, those were just like a few random things that I've been, oh no, shit, there's one more thing. I forgot because I wasn't gonna unplug it, but if you watched my video, my recent videos where I had like kind of the atmosphere of my like office back, backdrop. Um, there's a light in the background. I, I bought three of them. They're from Urban Outfitters. They're kind of expensive because Urban Outfitters is like kind of pretentious home stuff, you know? Uh, but these are, I think they're worth it. They're just like so nice. They give off really like a surprising amount of light for how tiny they are. And they're really like cute and unique looking. I'll show you the three. I'll insert it somewhere. But um, yeah, I love them so much. Like they're so nice. So if you're looking, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're still around. Like I, I pre-ordered them and then they came kind of recently. So I recommend those if you like need extra light. Like this, this apartment of ours, we had to buy so many lamps because there's no overhead lighting, which is like really annoying. Um, but these have really, these have really helped. And plus it's in my backdrop. So I felt like I had to like tell you guys about it. <sighs> so insecure at the end of a sentence. Um, okay, now it's, that's it. <laughs> anyway, all of that stuff will be linked down below. Let me know if you want to see more video. Let me know if you want me to stick to more like beauty favorites or if you like seeing these random, random kind of like home favorites. Cause I feel like I have a lot more of that stuff that I start to love and want to share with you guys. Uh, but if you are like, we don't care, I can try to round up more. It probably just wouldn't even happen though. I just don't really have beauty favorites that often. I don't know, whatever, you let me know. Okay. I was gonna say great talk. Um, this was fun, hope you enjoyed. And I don't know, if you have any suggestions for like cool stuff that you've been loving, let me know what they are in the comments. Don't subscribe to this channel. <laughs>